Hello guys! In today's tutorial, we are going to use Stable Diffusion Lycoris extension in Automatic 1111, and then we will generate an animation using our final results by Lycoris. You can find the details for the extension on the GitHub page. So first, let's install it with simple steps. Just go to Extension tab and search for Lycoris and you will get two of them. Install both of them, check for update, and restart the web UI. Basically, extension will use as a lower the web UI. So I put a model for Lycoris in the lower folder and the name of the model of Lycoris is Girl in the Bottle. I will include the Civitai link for Lycoris model also in the description for the generation. I'm using only realistic model here as a base model along with the Lycoris model. Let's get started. So I'm copying the deal from Civitai.com. Let's just copy paste all the details first and get the settings for automatic 1111 done. You are free to use any prompt setting for the generation you want. Okay, so now it's time to use your Lycos model. So put it in the prompt like this, and as you can see, it appeared with the same Laura. Okay, so all the settings done. Now we have to just generate the images. Do remember to generate six to eight images. So you will have the choice to choose from generating multiple images. You can increase the batch count. So here are your generated images, and you can choose from the images, which is perfect. So for me, this is looks okay, not beautiful image, but good enough for demo. So let's go with the next step. Send it to image to image section, and I'm going to upscale it. Before generation animation, follow the normal procedure to upscale it. Choose your desired settings and generate the image. There you go. Here's the final result. And now move forward to the next step. Making animation is also an exciting part. To make animation, I'm using the tool called Layapix. So just upload the final image you have saved from Automatic 1111. As you can see, after upload is finished, the picture itself is animation mode. So on the left corner, take a look at the settings of this animation. You can customize the setting as per your desire. After all the settings done, just click this share button and it will render your whole video and will give you some options to export. There are some options so select the MP4 options and it will definitely download your video to the PC. This is the final result. You can even use the cap cut to apply more effects on your final results. Now let's try to generate this Lycoris in local PC. Again, you have to download the Lycoris extension in Automatic 1111. I have done that on my installation, so I am going to apply and restart UI. I am going to try with Juggernaut Checkpoint with the girl in the bottle Lycoris. Looks okay, but too many shoes on the bottom. Let's try generate few more times. I am going to change some setting and prompts. Use the same seed number for next image. Okay, this time looks better, but the hands and fingers are problem.
This image looks better now. It feel like a handmade gift for your girlfriend. Okay, how about generate some kind of product style image with this? That will be cool for people to print on demand. Selling coffee mug, so you will have better look and feel instead of a static photo of a mug. Let's use realistic vision and see. Yes, something like that. It might be works for e-commerce print on demand store. Awesome. I hope this give you some ideas if you are doing e-commerce product. Okay, let bring this glass bottle to Leopix and make animation from this image. Now I believe you get the idea of this. I have another image. Let's try it fast with some video effect with CapCut as well. I am doing it in a fast way using CapCut Online. This time I'm going to add a background music and see. Nice, I like that ninja background music. And we are going to export that file. There you go, pretty nice. That's it for today's tutorial and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.